Hi, I'm Mark Brandusky, GeForce Intelligent Lifting Device Product Manager for Gore Bell. Thank you for joining us for today's video and welcome. What we're going to be talking about today is the 660 pound capacity Easy Arm. Uh, we're going to give you all the information that you need to apply the 660 pound capacity Easy Arm to your specific need. And we're also going to demonstrate the ergonomics and ease of movement in varying load weights with the Easy Arm. Applications that the Easy Arm, the 660 pound capacity Easy Arm, are very well suited for are applications such as automotive chassis and powertrain components that are heavier than 330 pounds, which is the next uh, model down of our Easy Arm product line. Also, heavy equipment manufacturing, such as the construction and mining equipment. Uh, those types of components that go into those machines are extremely heavy, and a lot of times you are not able to get to that uh, application with anything less than a 660-pound arm. Also, aircraft engine assembly and component manufacturing, uh, such as machining operations, are fantastic for the Easy Arm. And oil and gas, the uh, tubing or the piping, uh, the drill heads, the valving, uh, all big heavy components. Those are some key industries that this will, this will fit nicely into. A um, little recap on the entire uh, Easy Arm product line. So we have uh, the 165 pound capacity Easy Arm that opens up the product line. Uh, then the next model we go to is the 330 pound capacity Easy Arm. And this is what we're talking about today, of course, is the 660 pound capacity Easy Arm. The key features of the Easy Arm product line are superior ergonomics. Uh, as you'll see with this uh, 660 pound arm and all the Easy Arms, you'll notice the actuator, the part of the, the lifting device that has all the weight to it, is mounted at the, the top of the primary rotation point of the Easy Arm. That means the light ergonomic arm can be used for that superior ergonomic movement and lifting, and that is one of the key features. Also, the price point on the Easy Arm is very attractive. When you compare an Easy Arm to a floor mounted manipulator, uh, the Easy Arm is a much more attractive price point. Also, ease of installation. Uh, as opposed to, since this is a jib based solution with one column in the floor, uh, you will have the ability to just put one column in, and this, this as we'll talk about uh, a little bit more down the road here in the video, this is a foundationless type of system up to a certain span. So you can put this into a regular reinforced concrete floor, uh, and there's only one column in the floor instead of the multiple columns you would need to put a full-blown crane system in. Also, the spans uh, for the Easy Arm product line, the 165, 330, and the 660 go all the way up to 14 foot span and up to an 11 foot height under hook. Height under hook is defined as the, in the full up position, the distance from the bottom of the hook to the floor. So all the, all the Easy Arms go to a full 14 foot span and 11 foot height under hook, giving you quite a bit of uh, uh, coverage area with the Easy Arm product. So what I'm going to do now is show you in a couple different load weighted situations how easy the arm actually does move. And what I'd like to do first of all is take the easy arm and show you in an unloaded state. In an unloaded state, we can move this arm and you would think because of the larger structure of the easy arm it might be bigger and bulky, but you can see that I can move this around with relative ease in the unloaded condition. So if the operator is moving around and has to move the arm, especially if they're only moving this, the, the primary or the secondary arm as I am right now, the ease of motion is very good. And then what I'll simulate next is uh, this 60 or so pound weight here. We're going we're gonna to pick this up and simulate that the uh, operator using this would have some sort of end effector tooling here. Uh, so the, so the, this, this, will, this will simulate an end effector tool on here. End effector being the part of the system that actually grips or grabs the product so you can lift it. So now if I'm loaded with a light, uh, relatively light uh, end effector, I can still move around and the 60 pound moves around very easily as well. You'll see the arm is very easy, easy to move back and forth in all, in all aspects. So very good ergonomics there. And what I'm going to show you next is lifting up closer to a 500 pound load here. Now when you'll notice when I lift this product, this load weight, and I move it around, I have to move a little bit slower. The arm still moves extremely easy. The ergonomics of the arm maintains uh, that, that, that feature, is, that benefit there is still there. But you'll notice 
with 500 pounds, you have to start and stop a little, a little slowly, a little more gradually, because the load weight in this situation is kind of the, the uh, limiting factors to how fast it can move. But you can see, with relative fingertip force, I can still move this around, and that arm really does move very, very ergonomically. What I'd also like to show you is our float mode feature. Now, the, uh, as we talked about with uh, the rest of our, our product offering, the entire Easy Arm product line uh, will have the float mode feature. So what I'm gonna show you here is available with all uh, the Easy Arms, whether it be a 165, a 330, or a 660 pound capacity Easy Arm. What float mode allows you to do is lift the product up and even at a 500 pound load weight, I can press a button and go from the control mode where I grab onto the handle to the control mode where I actually just use a little bit of upward or downward force, fingertip force, and I'm able to position that piece up or down. So if you go back to some of those application, applications we were talking about, like aircraft engine assembly, you could pick up a very fragile uh, part that has to be precisely positioned for assembly at a, very, at a specific point in an aircraft engine uh, assembly process, and you have the ability to have very positive control over that part and put it right where you need it. So we did talk a little bit about the foundationless nature of this product. Now, I would like to get into what the columns are gonna look like in the different spans. So up to 10 foot span, this will be a 14 inch diameter column and you're gonna have a, a six bolt pattern hex base plate uh, to mount to your floor. Beyond 10 feet, so once you go over a 10 foot span, you're then gonna move up to a 16 inch diameter column and your hex base plate will get larger and you'll have a 12 bolt hex base plate on that, on that model. So, so under 10 feet, 14 foot diameter, six bolt hex base plate, over 10 feet, you're gonna have the 12 volt bigger base plate with a 16 inch column. So a couple other differences we wanna focus in on that are different uh, between the 660 pound model and the, the 165 pound and the 330 pound model. And uh, the first one we wanna talk about is the pulleys. Uh, the, you'll notice the pulleys at both the knuckle and the, the end of arm here are going to be much larger than you see on the 165 or the 330 models. That's because the wire rope on the 660 unit is a full quarter inch. Uh, on the 165 and the 3, 330, it's a 3 16 inch wire rope. So with that increase in diameter comes an increase in the, in the pulleys. So the, uh, the pulleys get larger and that's to optimize wire rope life. You'll also notice at the knuckle pulleys here, there is a meshing design with that larger uh, pulley that makes it so the wire rope at the, at the center of those pulleys cannot jump out from between those, those two center pieces. Uh, so that's, that's some of the wire rope optimization that we did uh, to, keep, to make sure that your wire rope lasts a long time. Also, at the end of the arm, you'll notice there is a pulley. Now on the 165 and the 330, that pulley is static. It's just on a simple uh, axle and it rotates around a single axle. And the 660 pound arm, because we have these larger pulleys at the knuckle point here, when you bend the arm and that wire rope wraps around a larger diameter pulley, it creates an angle uh, coming into the end of arm pulley. In order to accommodate for that, you're gonna notice that there is a swiveling articulating feature of that pulley that allows that pulley to track with that angle based on the bend of the arm. Also, you'll notice that on the top of the arm, there are some uh, wire rope guides that you're not, you're gonna see on the 165 and the 330 arms, you're gonna see some plastic bales that go over the top. They just keep the arm, uh, make sure that the arm doesn't, the wire rope doesn't droop off the side of the arm. On the 660 pound capacity arm, we actually added these wire rope guides. They allow that wire rope to feed in and out of that articulated end of arm pulley and back into the actuator very evenly, again, optimizing wire rope life. Okay, so another difference between the 660 and the 165 and 330s is the 165 and 330 pound easy arms, you'll notice the, the actuator would mount horizontally. Now on the 660, you'll notice that the, the actuator mounts in a vertical orientation. The reason for that is, again, goes back to those large diameter pulleys and the angle that's created back into the actuator when you bend the arm in different positions. So that, that angle, uh, in order to uh, accommodate a, a more parallel feed onto the drum, we rolled that actuator to a vertical position, again, optimizing wire rope life. Now, in that vertical position, it's a little less easy 
to do wire rope change outs, get access to the top and bottom covers. So we, we've added is a, is a service feature where you can pull a single pin and roll that actuator into a service horizontal position that, that mimics the 135 or the 165 and the 330 easy arms. So that will allow ease of service. And so we put a lot of thought into not only the functionality of the arm, but also the servicing of the arm. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up the 660 pound capacity easy arm. Uh, thank you for joining me for today's video. Once again, I'm Mark Grandusky, and we'll see you for other videos, but I would encourage you to go back through our, our library of videos on gorebell.com and browse through the other features and benefits of the Easy Arm product line, because all those features and benefits, besides the differences we talked about here, uh, carry over from the 165, the 330, and 660. So the float mode that we showed, plus all the other features uh, that are available in those different videos will also be available with the 660 Easy Arm. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.